Hey Virgo, Everlong Mystic here. So we're gonna get you a message about something good, good coming in. We're gonna let the good times roll. All right. So we're gonna start off with a clue. So what's the clue so you can kind of identify? We're gonna use Alchemy of Astrology to get that clue. All right, good times for Virgo. All right, so we have <clears throat> we have filter here. It talks about psychically sensitive truths. Um, it's number forty four, and it's in house eleven. It says knowing who truly cares. Uh, treading on eggshells. Separate to remove. Clear channel. Banish grits. Okay, psychically sensitive truths. So this isn't really a time frame would say it's more um, characteristics of a situation or how you're feeling at the time this kind of good thing is is coming in. Let's get a clarification card from the muse. I want to say that this is going to happen at a time when you are focused on uh, some kind of improvement, Virgo. Alright, so we have... Look at them putting their heads together. That's you, putting your head together. <laughs> we have the three of materials and it's, it's weaving. It's, it's weaving is what this is. Just by the looks on their faces, it seems like it might be something that <clears throat> has been taking a while. Alright, let's get the light seers here. We're gonna look at the outside energy. The inside energy you need to embrace, and then something the universe provides. Alright, for Virgo. That's actually pretty cool. So <clears throat> it looks like here that the outside energy Virgo is kind of like um, fresh and the promise of abundant. So <clears throat> there's there's plenty of opportunities in your environment to allow growth of this, of the takeoff of this good thing. So you're kind of being asked here to embrace this Nine of Wands energy, which is really just like keep keep going, Virgo. Don't don't give up. You know better. You know better than to give up. And then the uni uh, the universe provides. Look at this. So we have the Queen of Swords. The universe provides this cl crisp, clear way of <clears throat> knowing exactly what to do, when to do it. It's like, um, this feels very light, actually, this Queen of Swords. Like, like crisp, fresh air, as opposed to like, dank, dark, humid, you know what I mean? Like, it's, um, it's refreshing. So let's look at a key component here. It's, you know, it's funny because it's really not telling you what the good thing is. The good thing is, I mean, it's whatever it is, it's good for you. It's good for you, good to you. 
But at least we have a hint here. So let's, what's a key component? To let the good times roll. What's a key component? <gasps> Look at that consciousness. This is being in alignment. Okay. This is giving me goosebumps here. So this is, this is being in alignment to allow the energy to kind of like, I want to say creep in. Um, it's not a speedy thing. It's, but it's, it's like being, you know, like being in alignment, like, like the, like the picture here. And that <clears throat> is related to this filter in some way, because it's almost the same color as this font up here. In one of the... One of the words here is like clear, clear channel, keeping that clear channel open. So I kind of want to say that you're already working on that channel, that clear channel over here with the three of materials. Like, you know, I said, it's like, man, it's been taking a while to weave all that together. But once, once you get there, just grab, just grab one of these opportunities. Cause they're, they're in your environment. They're around you. We're still going to get a <clears throat> clarification for this consciousness. Well, that kind of flipped, but I didn't even shuffle. Muse of materials. We'll take it, but we're going to get another one. Muse of materials. So it's, it's like there's something you're going to be learning here. Like... <sighs> I feel like what what you're you're on this little bridge, right? And that's that kind of bridge with the lining up the the consciousness, right? Whatever that channel is. And here you can see the channel is clear. And you're headed towards, you know, the good times or the good thing or whatever, you know what I mean? And um it's it's like wide open, ready for you. <clears throat> Four of Voices. So that's a Four of Swords, a very meditative card here. It's like if you can dream it. God, I, remember, what a, I don't know why, but there's, well, it's Rocky Horror Picture Show, that movie where, I don't know if it's at the very end, that song that they sing, it's like, dream it to believe, like, be it, believe it, dream it, something like that. Um, that's, that's what's like oozing out of her eyes right here. <clears throat> Visualize, manifest, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, so what do you need to watch out for? Let's see. There's always a flip side, right? So what, what does Virgo need to watch out for? So, Virgo, you need to watch out for the Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Okay, this is being too focused on one thing. That's not really a key component here. Because the key component here is consciousness, not material things. So, <clears throat> you are an Earth sign, so it's so, I know it's easy to get wrapped up in the day to day earthly 3d activities i am guilty of that myself <laughs> um <clears throat> but we need to watch out for that why let's see why 
Ooh, we have the Empress. That's such a pretty Empress card. Look at that, all the flowers. All right. So why do we need to watch out for getting too wrapped up in the 3D? Because we are, part of this good thing is something that we are, we are nurturing and creating for ourselves. And so how do you, how do you kind of manage that? Mm. Uh, don't let your, don't trick yourself. Like don't deceive yourself. Don't get so wrapped up in the, the little mind traps and the mind games you play with yourself and possibly others. Because all it does is block you. And it prevents you from seeing things that you need to see, such as opportunities in your environment, right? So, Virgo, this is your Let the Good Times Roll message. Thank you so much for being here. I missed you guys. And I will, I'll see you next time.